Good morning. I just want to do this today. It's gonna rain. It's gonna rain. It's gonna rain. I'm gonna. Whew. Happy Tuesday. Okay. Oh, what's that? Fluff. the UK which means the water is colder too. Oh boy. Okay. I'm in it. I'm in. Not bad going. Hey, good morning. What would I like to talk about today? Okay. Uh, I had this beautiful conversation yesterday with a very good friend of mine. I'll not mention your name but you know who you are. I've got a cheek to sort my eyebrows. I haven't even washed my face or brushed my teeth. Anyway. Um... So we were having this, you know, conversation about the world and what's happening in it and where it's going and um, but what really came out of it is the power of the word no. So listen, this might trigger some people, this, um, this conversation you might not be ready to hear but this is just my take on where I am right now. A year ago I was in a completely different place, okay? So um so there's a lot of pressure being put on a lot of people right now. And um you know it, it's getting louder. Uh, <laughs> it's getting louder and um you know Lots of different people are under different amounts of pressure. And I want to speak about the power of the word no. Okay. Now, from my personal experience, because I can only ever talk about my personal experience. I can't, you know, that's all I've got to go on. So, uh, you know, when I look back on my life, you know, I believe we're, we're we're programmed to be yes men, okay, or women, or whatever. Um, we're pretty much programmed to not question authority. Um, we are programmed to believe that um, the people in authority have our best interests at heart, and. Um, you know, I used to, I used to believe that, and um, my mom always calls me Joanne. I'll do it done, okay? Because uh, whenever it was like, oh, can anybody help you? I'd be like, I'll do it, I'll do it, I'll do it. I've always been a helper and you know a worker and like to you know get in there and help people. And um, I found it very hard to say no. I found it as I was growing up spiritually and through my awakening I learned the power first of let me get back to you because what I couldn't do was I couldn't say no so if somebody asked me something I would be okay I'll do it because it was a programming within me to serve to not question and to help and this will resonate with so many people, okay? So, I am... Um, sorry, distracted. Birds, they do that. Um, so first of all, before I could say no, I learned the power of, let me get back to you on that, okay? So, you know, that phone goes, and there's somebody at the end of it who, you know, is expecting something from you and you don't want to do it or you can't do it. But you're not quite in that place to say no yet. Well, what you do is you say, oh, let me get back to you and that. And these people who have been, you know, expecting things from you your whole life and you've been 
dropping whatever it is you're doing to rush to their aid, they don't know what to do because you haven't said yes to them. And so there isn't confrontation and there isn't any arguments and they go, oh, okay, they kind of glitch out. But what that person will do is, because they're so used to that um, shadow-driven side of, I need it now, they will go and get somebody else to do it. So you never need to get back to them, okay? So once you practice that, let me get back to you on that, okay? You can then get stronger in saying no. And this is boundary setting and this is so important for where we are right now. Because a year ago I was protesting, okay? And protest, I was protesting. Now I'm in a little different place and I'm kind of I'm just gonna say no. So, you know, if anybody's asking me to do anything that I don't want to do, I'm just gonna say no, no thank you. What are they gonna do? No, no thank you. No. No, no, you know, any conversations that come up, n no. And I don't have to explain myself to anybody. Um, just no thank you. Nope, not for me. Not today, not never, no thank you. And there's so much power in that. Because people don't expect you to say no. People expect you to get into a fight, or people expect you to say yes. Also, if we think about the energy of... If like attracts like, which it does, okay? Energy attracts the same energy. So if we are trying to fight something, what are we getting back? There are limited things I can say on this channel, okay? But there are a lot of, and I'm not saying it's wrong, people have the right to do whatever feels right and what resonates with them. I was there too. I was fighting. I'm not fighting anymore because I realized that I was just getting that energy back. I don't see the point in fighting because I'm just going to attract whatever it is I'm fighting against. The thing that I'm fighting against is going to fight against me. So instead of battling and losing my power and losing this energy to, to a fight that is just a perpetual fight because that's what that energy does. I'm just saying no. No. No, that won't be happening. Nope. No, I'm not doing it. No. Nope, not today. No, thank you. Are you gonna get the wee whew, ink? Mm. No, no, thank you. Nope. Uh, and what happens is if we just say no, then it's up to that other person or the other institution or whatever it is you're saying no against, they then want to battle you to make you say yes. Just no. We don't have to explain ourselves, we just have to say no. I, I make my own choices and my choice is no. No. I'm going to challenge you guys today just to practice saying no. When something comes up against you or, you know, whatever it is. Something's taking your time or that's that phone call, you don't have to answer it. You don't have to reply to messages straight away. You don't have to do anything. That is sovereignty and that is standing in your power, okay? 
practice. If you can't, if you can't say no, first of all, practice. I'll get back to you on that. Let me have a think about it. I'll get back to you. And then once you're strong enough, practice no. Just practice it. Because we are so programmed to be yes, people. And yes, we'll do this for you. And yes, we'll serve, we'll serve, we'll serve. How about, how about no? <laughs> and I mean, my friend were laughing yesterday because in the UK anyway, there used to be a, a show on years ago and it was called Grange Hill and it was, it was about a school. And they had this song about, um, about drugs, right? It was back and then it must have been early. <clears throat> late 80s, early 90s maybe, and it was called Just Say No, right, and it was just, just say no, anybody around about my age in the UK, you'll, you'll know what I'm talking about, just say no, I actually think we should revamp that for, you know, the, the era and we're living now, um, just say no, just say no people, so, you know, to be in your sovereignty and to be, you know, your, your full divine self and to stand in your power, there's power in the word no. So I challenge you to practice it today. Practice no. Say no when you just don't want to. And and there doesn't need to be if you don't explain yourself, you know, you're probably not gonna get questions. Just no, thank you. No. Nope. You don't have to explain yourself, you don't have to get in a debate about it. You know. Just no. And um in that is power. So I'm standing in my sovereignty and what happens is the universe gives me that energy back. It's a beautiful thing. It's cold in here. I'm gonna get ready for my day. Have a beautiful day everyone. Power of no. I love you. <laughs>